Hey guys, here we go with our video 2.6 activity series. And this deals with reactivity. Now, reactivity is the ability or tendency of an element to go through a chemical change or react, hence reactivity, with another element. Now, a couple things to remember. Metals are losers when it comes to electrons, right? Metals are going to tend to lose electrons and form positive ions. Nonmetals are bullies when it comes to electrons. They're going to gain electrons and form negative ions. So when we talk about reactivity, we can't compare metals to nonmetals. You've hopefully heard the old phrase, well, we can't compare apples to oranges. Well, in chemistry, we can't compare metals to nonmetals when we talk about reactivity. OK, so metals. Most reactive metal is francium. Now, generally with metals, as we go across a period, right, if here's our periodic table, reactivity decreases. Why? Well, the increased nuclear charge is going to hold on to the electrons more. And shielding is not increasing as we go across. So it's going to really be able to hold on to the electrons more because the nuclear charge is increasing and there's nothing else blocking its pull on these electrons. Going down a group, the opposite the reactivity tends to increase. Why? Because of the shielding. The nucleus isn't pulling on the electrons more. As we go down a group, it's pulling on them less because getting blocked by those inner electrons. All right, let's take a look at our activity series, which is on table J. Now, on the activity series, higher metals will replace lower metals in a compound. So there's a reaction. If there's a reaction between uh, lithium and calcium and chloride, lithium, I'm sorry, lithium and potassium chloride, lithium would replace potassium. Barium would replace strontium. Rubidium would replace zinc. So higher metals replace lower metals. Now, metals Na and above would react with a water or an acid. Metals above H2, so these from lead to magnesium will only react with acids. These, if you add them to water, it's a pretty cool looking explosive kind of reaction. All right, nice and easy. Here we go with question time. A really easy one. Put the following metals in order of reactivity. Put the most on top, the least on the bottom, or you can put the most on the left and the least on the right. All right, that brings us to the end, and I will see you guys at school.